Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the sixth grade concept of integer operations. This is standard 6.3D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number one off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Serena is buying five shirts for $6 each, and then she spends $7 on for lunch. She pays these things with her debit card, and then we have an expression here. Five parentheses negative six plus negative seven. So how do we simplify that into one of these integers down here? So remember, integers are going to be positive and negative whole numbers. So really it's just simplifying what she bought, five, parentheses negative six plus negative seven. And there is a way, and I will show you before the video is done, to find all four of these answers, A, B, C, and D, from this, if you use incorrect operations. So here's the, the simplest thing, right? Let's take a look at this plus negative seven. So let's deal with that first, because that's super simple. We need to remember, whenever you have a positive and a negative, or a negative and a positive, if they're opposites, it's always going to equal a negative. If you ever get the same, so whether it be two positives, which we uh, have known for years, or if you ever get two negatives, that actually equals a positive. So two negatives make a positive. So if they're different, they're negative. If they are the same, they're positive. So when we have a plus minus seven, we can really just rewrite that like this minus seven. So a plus negative is the same as subtracting. So really our next big question is what in the world is going on right here? What is this five doing outside of the parentheses and why is there no operation there? Well this is a secret I'm sure your teacher has taught you but let me just remind you right here. Whenever you see a number outside of a parentheses or maybe you see two parentheses together it always means multiplication. So whether you want to represent your multiplication with a just a dot, maybe an x, but probably a dot would be better because x can be viewed as a variable or an unknown. And that's just the secret of math is that anytime you have a number outside of a parentheses, it's going to be multiplication. So if I wanted to show 5 times 6, right, I could do 5 times 6 or I could do five parentheses six. Both of those mean the same thing. I could put parentheses around both. It's just a shortcut. Parentheses means multiplication. Or you can even have it, it would look a little bit weird, but you can kind of have the six on the back end without a parentheses, but that's what that means. So really we're looking at five times and then let's put these in parentheses here, negative six. Let's just put that negative there. So we've got the five times negative six. Well, five times six is 30. And this is gonna be a positive. If you don't see any type of positive or negative, you can always assume it's positive. And remember what happens when we get a positive and a negative, that's going to make a negative. So it's negative 30 minus seven. So that means we're going to take our number line here. Let's say here's our zero. We're all the way over here at negative 30, and we need to go over more. Because whenever we go to subtraction, we always go a little bit more to the left. So that's going to be negative 37. So our answer here is going to be A, negative 37. Now, how do we get some of these other ones if we do them incorrectly? Well, look at this 23. If I don't know what that parentheses means, I could just say five plus six plus seven. You can just add them all and guess what you would get? You would get 18. Well, that's gonna be kind of close to this negative 18, just the wrong operation. If you didn't make it negative, if you said five times six equals 30 minus seven, well, that would get you your 23. And the four is just going to be five plus six minus seven. 